Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Here we'll see how to build a custom tab bar like this, the one that we have over here. And we'll also see how to load data or async data, load data from server using these tabs. Whenever you click on them, they'll load data from the server. So without further ado, let's get started. Now over here, we need to use a UI code, the code for our UI that would look like this. And after that, actually, we're gonna launch our app in this simulator, which is Android Simulator. Now, the initial code is this one, and actually, you may get it from the link below. Now, over here, we have this uh, widget. Widget name is Head Tabs. I'm going to explain and walk you through the uh, code over here. Now, first, we wanna actually call it from our uh, column over here. So here I have this basic uh, stateless class. Inside this I have this build method. Inside this I have this build method, scaffold, safe area, center, column. And inside the column actually um, I put this widget function, the one that I have defined at the top. And if we go ahead and run the app, it may look like this currently, and this is what actually we wanted. But of course you can use this one in your app bar as well. You can use it anywhere you want in your app because this is independent, customized tab bar. Now let's walk you through with this. Well, now over here, we wanna put everything in the center of this uh, container. So that's why we have this one. We'll see if you take this out, what happens. Now this is the basic container and the container width I have given over here 320. Mm -hmm. So which is pretty much this one. And then this is the height. And after that, we have a bit of styling over here and a background color. Now the background color itself is quite important. Now we're here, as you see that the color has set to gray color over here, and this is the gray color we see, and we also have a border radius. So this is the decoration, and this is also like our background color, okay? All right, and after that we have a child, and in the child we have this row. Now why we have this row? Because we wanna actually have two buttons over here next to each other. Right now we only have one, and it's okay, we're gonna make it two very soon. Now, each of the buttons would be clickable, so that's why we have this gesture detector over here, as you can see, and inside this, we have a container. Now, inside the container, uh, this container actually represents this first button over here, as you can see, and we have given it a width like 150 and height is 40. All right, okay, so this is the container, and inside the container, we still have basic styling, and then we have this box decoration. Now, this box decoration actually shows the color over here, as you can see, the white color, or oh, this is also our foreground color. And uh, inside this, we have a bit of shadow. Foreground color has been set to white. And after that, we have this row one more time inside this child as a child now why we have this row over here the reason is because we want to set this chat this word this string in the middle of this container and the way i did it over here using a row and then just uh, put a text inside it and we are good to go all right so this is the basic ui now we want to make it like two tabs right now we have one tab of course, you can, of course, you can put as many tabs as you want because we are inside this row. But of course, in that case, if you want a lot of tabs, you have to change this width over here. Now, I'm going to copy this one from here. I'm going to copy this. And then I'm going to put it right below it. And then we'll see that we'll have two tabs. All right, great. And the second tab itself, we wanna change the name instead of chat. This one, instead of chat, we wanna make it like say call. Okay, so I'm going to uh, change it and I'll say it call, all right, okay. So now with this, we have two tabs ready. But from here, if you wanna have more tabs, just to change this width of course it would be smaller okay all right so these two tabs are available right now and we want to make it uh, first we want to make it like toggle so we would be clicking on this and this would disappears or if we click on this this would disappears just like we have seen over here okay like this so we want to have like this 
All right, now this tolling comes with state management. Now for this reason, over here, we are going to use, first we are going to use getx to do that and we'll see how to do it using getx. Now, because we want to manage the state of this app, so for that reason, we have to declare a state variable and over here, we'll declare that. So here we'll call it ver and tab status. And then over here, we'll have a Boolean and we'll make it OBS. So the default value is true and this is OBS type. But of course, we want to change this value as we click on them, okay? All right. Now, at the same time, first we want to use this in our UI, okay? Now let's go ahead and inject this controller and then we can use it. Now how to inject it? Of course, we can inject it at the top over here. So here we can just simply do get the put and then here we'll call app controller so our dependency would be injected with this and we are good to go all right make sure that it's imported at the top otherwise it will get error so the app has been the controller has been injected now over here we are going to use get view get view and then we would mention our controller type which is app controller all right great so now we can use the controller instance inside this uh, build method where where is our build method this is our build method okay and first thing we want to do we want to wrap this around obx because we want to make it responsive so here we'll have obx and then we just simply return our column from here now head tabs sits inside this column so if this column is responsive head tabs would also be responsive okay so that means this section would be responsive and that also means that we can also access our controller instance now what is the first thing we want to do now the first thing we want to do this we want to make it default and this one would be like invisible just like this one you can see that so over here, yes, we can see the text, but we don't see the foreground color for this tab, right? So we want to do that one first. All right, uh, it's okay. We, if we can hot reload, the arrow should be gone. Okay, it says that we have an improper use of getx. Now that's because we have obx over here, as you can see in our build method but actually we are not using anything related to obx and what does that mean it means that we have to go ahead and install our in, we have to go ahead and use our controller instance and that's why actually we have used obx but so far we haven't used a controller instance and where where do we use it actually we're going to use it over here now you see that we have this uh, box decoration now we want to show this box decoration only if our state variable which is tab status is a true so i cut this one and then over here we could do controller and then tab status dot value and if the value is a true we're going to show our decorated box decoration otherwise we're going to just show one default box decoration let's go ahead and check that and with this the arrow should be gone yes it's gone but of course nothing has changed over here and how to work with this now I'm going to minimize this over here now I'm going to open up the second one and we're gonna do the same pretty much same over here but we do it in opposite order so over here once again we're gonna check if we have controller object or not and then tab status and then value okay all right and if this is true then actually we're gonna do the opposite which means that we're gonna show the default box decoration that means that if this is true this would be visible and this box decoration color would be invisible which means the default one otherwise over here we are going to use the one that we had early okay all right now with this you save it and you see that it's gone so it's more like the visible one and this is the invisible one right of course we can also work on the color but we are not going to do that in this tutorial and now of course we have to make it uh, toggable but we can't really toggle this right we need to know how to toggle this and this is why we need to introduce a function over here and we'll call it like void toggle 
tabs all right and inside this we want to change this value and how to do that so let's go ahead and take tab status and value take the value and uh, over here we can also do tab status dot value so whatever the original value you take that and you do the opposite okay so if previously this was true with this it would be false but of course uh, we can get this value but we need to be interactive and how to do that so from our ui we need to call this method the method that we just have created and we can call it from our on tap events because we know that this is a gesture detector gesture detector has on tap event so over here we can call it so we already have on tap event and instead of go tab status actually i can call the function toggle tabs okay so this is what we defined in our controller and over here we do the same so let's uncomment this and we we'll call you call it toggle tabs toggle tabs all right let's restore it and now we'll be able to toggle it and if you toggle it you will see that it changes all right yeah so that's how you do the toggling with getx and what about if you want to load data now in that case if you have data for this one all you need to do over here you need to do on init method which you should override on init method override and then you call on init and inside this you will have your network request or load data okay so your first network request would be there all right network request well you can ask what it is to do with this one of course you also have to have network request here okay but now first time when you come on this page of course you are not going to call it right because it's just ui and this is the default state so this won't get called so of course this would get called and then you'd do the network request and load the data now since this is a widget right below this widget you would show your data and next time of course you can also do this one over here when you call this one your data would be loaded now why your data would be loaded because you have a network request over here as you can see network request okay and you click this one once again you will have network request and load data but of course even before that you need to check which tab you are in okay so tab status So here you will have network request like this. So if the tab value is true, you have one kind of network request. If your value is different, then you do a different kind of network request. And that's how you do that. But you still have to do on init method. Why? Because you want to show the default value for certain tab. And for other tab, once you click it, the value will be loaded and show the value right here. I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it To my own domain Yeah I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots Skipping breaks Feeling lost Feeling great Popping off Singing straight Never stop Never changed All the squad here to play And I've got something to say Yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause No I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say Up again, I got tired eyes, need a cup of blend. That's right, 
In the AM, that's my only friend, no light Just the sun coming up on the horizon I lose track of time, yeah, I move fast and climb A new class divine, yeah, true passion shines And I'm through passing time, I choose stacking dimes You snooze half the time while I move passing by uh. I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no, I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make